So we've come to the last part of ratios and proportions, that is partnership. We're going to do the first, second, third, and fourth sums under partnership. As you, can, as, you, as you know, in partnership, people do not invest in the same amount as the other person. So we cannot give returns to each other, uh, I mean, to each one the same amount. So we have to give it in terms of how much they have invested in the company. Uh, say, for example, take the first sum. The first sum says A invested rupees 10,000 and B invested 15,000 in a business. The profits received from the business were 6,000. How much should each get? Each one cannot get 3,000 as A invested lesser than B. So we find out the proportion as in uh, how much uh, A, has, A and B both have invested. So since A invested 10,000, and B invested 15,000, the ratio would be, uh, you would have to divide the two to get the ratio. That would be 10,000 by 15,000. Five twos are 10, five threes are 15. So two by three. So that is two is to three. So that means A invested for every two rupees, A invested, B invested three rupees. So now, they have a profit of 6,000 rupees. 6,000 should be divided amongst A and B in this proportion. So now, this is five parts. Okay, so now 6,000 should, 6,000 is the profit that the company has received, and that has to be divided among, uh, I mean, between A and B. So what we do is, uh, since there are five parts in this, two plus three, there are five parts. So out of that, two parts go to A. So two by five into 6,000, five twelves are, 12 twos are, 2,400. And that goes to A. So A gets 2,400, and B gets three parts out of five. So that is 6, 000, out of 6,000. That is 3,600. So a gets 2,400 and B gets 3,600. Okay, so the second sum. The second sum says A, B, and C are equal partners in the business. They earn 13,000 from the business, divide the profits in their ratios. So in this case, A, B, and C have invested the same amount. So basically, they are, uh, the ratio in which they uh, invest is one is to one is to one. So that means for every three parts, each person gives one one part. So naturally, the 13,000 that the company gets should be split equally amongst the three of them. So that would be A would get one part out of 13,000. Similarly, B would get one third of 13,000. And C also would get one third of 13,000. Which would be equal to 4,333 for each. There's a difference of one rupee, which we would not consider, I mean, uh, bec uh, which happens because we are not considering the decimal values. So now we're going to move on to the third sum, where the sum says x, y, and z have invested capital in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. The profits earned for the year are 50,000. Evaluate each one's share. So basically, since it's 2 is to 3 is to 5, Adding it up, it comes up to 10. So now X receives, X has invested two times out of 10, two parts out of 10, and the profit that they received is 50,000. So that would mean 5,000 into two, 10,000. Y has invested three parts, so it gets three parts out of 50,000, which would mean 15,000. And Z receives how many? Five parts. Five parts out of 10 into 50,000 is 
25,000. So if you add them up, you get 50,000. OK, so we move on to the fourth sum now. The fourth sum says calculate the share of profit of 56,000 rupees for the three partners X, Y, and Z. If, X, if Z received two-fifths of what Y received, and Y received three-sevenths of what X received. So now what we do is we assume let X receive X rupees. So in this case, Y will receive 3 7 of what X received. So 3 by 7 of X. And Z receives 2 fifths of what Y receives. So Z receives 2 fifths of what Y receives. So Y receives 3 7 3 by 7 X. So this is how we're going to solve it. So now calculate the share of profit of 56,000 rupees. So now, since we know they are ratios, all we have to do is, so these ratios should sum up to 56,000 rupees. So what we do is, x plus 3 by 7x plus 6 by 35 x is equal to 56,000. The LCM of this is 35. So 35x plus, say, 15x plus 6x is equal to 56,000. So that means uh, 35, 45, 50, 56x is equal by 35 is equal to 56,000. So x is equal to 56,000 into 35 by 56. So 56 ones are, so x is equal to 35,000. So if x is equal to 35,000, y receives 3 seventh of x. 3 seventh of 35,000. 7 fives are 15,000. And Z receives 2 fifth of what Y receives. So Z receives 2 fifth of 15,000. 5 threes are, 3 twos are 6,000. 6, so X receives 35,000, Y receives 15,000, and Z receives 6,000. Mm -hmm.